Hey guys, Andrew Esquivel here, back with another review, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Chefman Perfect Pour Volcano Belgian Waffle Maker. Now, this waffle maker is a little different than your typical waffle maker. Right here we have a removable funnel that helps keep things clean, and everything pours into here, which if we open this up, you'll notice that this doesn't exactly have the normal shape of a waffle maker. And the idea is that as it gets poured down in the center, it spreads out and then becomes a waffle. So what we have is some waffle batter here from Aunt Jemima. And we're going to test out and see how well the waffle maker works. Getting the waffle maker ready is pretty straightforward. We just take our plug give it some power, and when it has power, a red light will turn on. When it has reached the correct temperature, a blue light will turn on. There is no temperature adjustment on this model. I know some waffle makers do have that, this one does not. So we take our funnel, and we lock it into place. Now, the Perfect Pour Volcano Belgian Waffle Maker comes with a little measuring spoon because if you look right here the max fill is 185 milliliters and this has a indicator if you look closely on it I don't think I'll be able to show it on video but it'll show you when you're at 185 milliliters that way you just take the batter pour it into the hole wait a few minutes to cook release and waffle now that the blue light is on, we have indicated we are at operating temperature. I have also filled up our little measuring cup that was provided for us. And quite simply, we just pour it all in the hole. It'll flow down into the system. And then in about a minute and a half to two minutes, we will have a waffle. It's been approximately two minutes since we put the batter in. And as you can see, any excess batter will flow up and stay inside the cup. It will turn into a solid, so we simply twist this and pull it off. And you'll see that the bottom part here has turned kind of into a partly solidified chunk. That will take a moment to clean out, but first let's look at the waffle now keep in mind there's steam coming out of here so when you pull this up some steam might come and blast your hand this is something I've noticed and we have a waffle however one thing that I have noticed that is pretty consistent with this particular design of waffle maker is I can never seem to get it to make a perfect circular waffle we have this sort of X pattern which is pretty typical. That being said, the waffles themselves, as far as taste and everything goes, is still pretty excellent. I love the taste of these waffles. However, you just can't argue with the fact that although this design is clever, the fact that I always get this X-shaped pattern and never actually achieve a circular waffle is a bit disappointing. Now, some might say, well, what if I use more batter? Well, the thing is, we had enough batter that it was not going in all the way. What if I used a thinner batter? Well, that would be an option, I suppose. Theoretically, a batter that is thinner would be able to slide down further faster before the heat starts to solidify the batter. However, since I don't have all the time in the world to try a million different batters, the one that I normally use I feel should be sufficient. But, alas, this design isn't perfect. Still, it was inexpensive, and it still makes a tasty waffle. But, if you're looking for perfection, you're definitely going to want to look elsewhere. So, all in all, that's pretty much it for this waffle maker. It's pretty basic, it's pretty simple, and although it is clever, it's not quite right on the money. But, anywho, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, show your friends, check out my other videos. i got plenty of them. As always, I'll see you next time. Have a nice breakfast.